Hey there, Tall Man Clan. Welcome back. Today we are at La Mesa in soon. Where are we? Hey there, Tall Man Clan. Welcome back. Today we are at La Mesa. Hey there, Tall Man Clan. Today we are back in Port St. Lucie at La Mesa. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> Hey there, Tall Man Clan. Welcome back. Today we are at La Mesa in Port St. Lucie, and we're going to look at another beacon. Golly, I love looking at these things. This is the 34 RLK, so let's get going. All right, we're going to start right up here at the front. It's beautiful storage passed through all the way. Now, like a lot of the other high-end uh, uh, fifth wheels we look at, this has got the drop frame on it, so which gives you really... Oh, look at that. Uh, the light sensor was on. I put my hand in there and the light came on. I love that. Yeah, it's got the drop frame, which ends up giving you much deeper storage up here in the front, okay? Over here, this is a spot for your propane. Um, I bet you could get a 40-pounder in there if you wanted to. Slam latches, okay? Get a solid step above step. And if you pan up, Lisa, there's two awnings here. There's uh, one over this front section, and then there's a separate one that's mounted uh, to the slide. Um, so you actually would have pretty decent coverage uh, on this side of the uh, RV. Come on to the back. Oh, yeah. Look at the back of this. I love this. Look at this. Right? Isn't that awesome? Gotta just, you can see, it. oh, it's just beautiful. Uh, these are frameless windows, which are cool. Uh, it's pre-wired for Fury on backup camera. Um, obviously, you can see there's no ladder here, so uh, you'll have to get onto the roof other ways. So come on. Look over here, watch your step. All right, so your power cable, it's 50 amp. It is on a, uh, a motorized reel, if you will, so you just have to hit the button and it recoils or un, you know, uncoils or whatever itself. So basically what I'm trying to say is you don't have to wrangle that big heavy cable. It does it all on its own. All right, I'm pretty sure this has upgraded suspension. Yes, it does. It's got a Road Armor upgraded suspension package on there, which is awesome. All right, here's one of your sewer connects right here. All right, now if you also, if you pan over there to the right, you'll see this has got your hydraulic level up system. And it's gonna get real loud here because it's raining outside, but guess what? We're inside, so we get to keep on working. It just, it's, well, it might get a little loud, okay? All right, so here is the other storage. All right, we should say the other side of the storage. And this is your wet bay. Obviously, you can see all your stuff is here. Your, your water filter pre-mounted, which is great. Uh, there's also, looks like a, an additional water pump in here. Um, my guess that's for pumping water out of your tank into the house. Um, yeah, it's cool. A lot of connections here. And of course, since it's a separate bay, um, if you do get a leak, it just it's going to kind of leak out the bottom. It's not going to flood your whole storage compartment. I really like that. Okay. And again, slam latches. I love that. All right, over here. Again, this is where the other propane tank would mount. All right, so let's take a look at the numbers. We have a gross vehicle weight of, oh geez, I think that says 18,000 pounds. And then uh, you got a carrying capacity of, uh, I think that says 4,900 pounds. But give the shadow here, we're just gonna put a little light on there. Yep, 18,000 pounds and 4,980 pounds, almost 5,000 pounds carrying capacity. So let's move on to the front. So up here, now in some of our other videos, we've talked about a, a three door configuration. I've seen that in a lot of the new ones. This one doesn't have it. See how it's just one big door? All right, so when you open this, it does have a latch up here, so it'll hold it up. All right, and all your stuff is in one compartment here. If you wanted to mount a generator, there's your spot for it. You do have a little extra storage above that, and over there is sort of your utility area. This is where your batteries are, your hydraulics, and all that stuff for your level up system is all over there. Now your control system, for the level up, for your auto leveling, is right here, which I absolutely love, because when you're taking this off your truck, you're able to be right here with it so you can see what's going on. It's really nice that it's there. And it also has 
uh, the upgraded Rotoflex pin box, which is kind of cool too. So uh, let's go inside. So look at this. I love the opposing slides. I love how much room this feels. In fact, isn't this giving you like, you know, a, a cabin vibe, right? Yeah, it kind of does, yeah. Yeah, the woodworking area, beautiful. So come on back here, let's start back here. All right, so uh, these sofas are suede. At least that's what it feels like, so soft. Um, this does convert to a bed, okay? Um, above it is some cabinetry, and uh, I gotta tell you, this is tall man cabinetry. Uh, I think Lisa would have to stand on top of the couch to, to, to get up there. <laughs> Robert fact, might have to stand on top of the couch to get up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm on my tippy toes, yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty tall storage, but they're making use of the space, which is great. And don't forget, yeah, the big, big windows. So if you're backed up to a lake somewhere on the maps, I don't know where, you've got a beautiful view going out, okay? To the right of this is your theater chairs, which are electric. They recline and go out, which is awesome. So you don't have to be using your feet and stuff to close them. You just hit the button. Very, very comfortable. A little divider in between so you can put your, your cups in there and some cup holders and stuff for your drinks, okay? If you turn around, Lisa, there is the entertainment center. And what's really nice about that, I mean, I know that is a giant uh, TV, but if you don't want to uh, see it, it's on a televator. You just press a button and it goes down and behind it is a window. And so, again, if you're parked up against some beautiful views and you're not watching TV you just put that sucker down like that and you're now getting those views which is absolutely amazing um, it is pre-wired with Furion sound system a DVD player and beneath that a really big fireplace right and then of course right next to that is the kitchen Yes, look at this great island. This is solid surface. Isn't that nice? It is beautiful. Set off to the side just like you like it, or the Sinka is, I guess I should say. <laughs> There's a drying rack there. Um, we have the stainless um, farm sink, yeah. which is really nice. Beautiful faucet. Um, that little spray nozzle and everything in it. Lots of space underneath here. Look wow, at look at drawer. that. Isn't that crazy? You know what I bet? I bet. You could put a dishwasher there instead, which is why that's so big. I that's, was thinking that might be something that That, that, that is create. about the size of one of those uh, drawer type dishwashers. It is. I it bet is. that's an upgrade. There's a huge space underneath the sink as well. Yeah. Yeah. Now over here, we still have all the beautiful cabinetry that matches everywhere else in here. Lots of storage. Those are solid. <laughs> That's a uh, tall man storage there. Yep. Yes. Nice convection um, microwave. Yes, convection microwave. Look at this beautiful residential four burner stove. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, with some great prep room and stuff on either side. On both sides. Plus nice the window. window. Yeah. Yeah, and look at all these nice storage drawers. Those are soft clothes they too, are. aren't they? Yeah, it is. Look are at these? That. I'm sure these are too. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> soft and slowly. <laughs> <laughs> We're not slow mowing this for you. It just takes time. <laughs> Are we there yet? There we go. Okay. More storage over here. Um, look at this great refrigerator freezer. Yeah, that's beautiful. Isn't that nice? Yep, residential. So this would run on your inverter, yes. which is uh, runs off your batteries, which is great. So when you're driving down the road, it will still be on. Yes, absolutely. Behind me here. Oh, yeah. We have this huge pantry. Look, Look at, this. at that. I mean, wow, that is gigantic. It goes if, all. If there's not enough room for your stuff, you just have too much stuff. Yeah. Because that's. And that's, those those shelves were solid. Yeah. I like how it's busted up a little bit too, right? It is. There's some yeah. drawers and there's some it, just cubbies. Yeah, I really that's really nice. Right. And then over here. Yeah, there's I just the, the, the shadow and. The, yeah, there, the there's there's glass. a dark. Yes. panel behind it it's really hard to see i mean this is kind of the panel that's behind it but it's glass on the front so yeah it's just a nice look it is look at this backsplash Isn't that yeah beautiful? that's real tile that backsplash yeah a nice little coffee bar yeah there's power right here for Perfect. it that's which is what great I was looking for. And some more cabinetry underneath you know what one thing that we didn't look at 
was these um, the dining chairs. Look, they match. Oh yeah, yeah. The the, the, the fabric matches. Absolutely. The, um, yeah, that's a that's stuff. awesome. And just I love the detail work and, and their woodwork. It's beautiful. Um, overhead, this lighting is just gorgeous. The ceiling fan, it's beautiful. Yep. Now this does have whisper quiet AC. Um, and so, uh, it's not on at the moment, but, uh, um, yeah, it would be quiet. Even if it was, you wouldn't hear it. Uh, by the way, there are also four chairs for this table. It just, there's only two of them out now. The rest are sort of, you know, up in storage. So let's go, uh, let's go up front and see what's going on up here. Oh, you know what time it is. It's time for Tom and Toilet Test. Uh porcelain foot flush toilet for those who don't know i am six foot four all right use my height as reference okay um but in here being six foot four i am very comfortable there is plenty of leg room width is pretty good right and so definitely and it's got a bum gun yeah right across from this nice under counter mount sink solid surface like everything else in here extra countertop space which is really great you know for you full timers look even if you're going out for a week or two you're gonna want your toothbrush out and your toothpaste and the hand soap and paper towel i mean you're gonna want space for these things this gives you that space which is awesome you got a couple of uh doors to access the under space down here which is cool there's some more storage here which is great you do have a corner medicine chest right and then, at least height-wise, again, I'm I'm pretty good height-wise. I can't even see you in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm 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 good. I'm good, right? So, hi. <laughs> uh, and then the corner here, there's another little cabinet for you to store some towels, which is great. Now, look, you're not gonna put like 30 of them in there, but you're gonna be able to put enough before you do laundry, which is great. All right, so uh, let's get in the shower. All right, so as you can see, my head is in the bubble. I would say I've got about two inches of space left before my head touches the bubble. Remember, I'm six foot four, so if you're taller than, say, six six, you're not going to fit in this particular shower. So anybody under that is going to be just fine, okay? The shower head's in a pretty good spot. It's kind of loose right now. I'll tighten that up. So that's pretty good. Um, there's plenty of width and, and plenty of depth. I mean, it's a little bit narrower than some, but this is pretty good. Um, the only thing I don't like, I, I was talking about, I don't like the glass doors. Uh, we did a, a the video just about shower doors. It's linked down below, you should check it out. So all in all, really, let's go see the rest. There we go. Going up into the master. Look at this space, all right? All right, so height up here. Again, I've got about that much space between the top of my head and the ceiling. So that's about four inches. I'm six foot four. So if you're six foot eight, that's going to be about max. Okay. Um, and you're still going to probably feel like you need to duck because, but six foot eight SB, you're the only one I know. Okay. <laughs> Yet another shout out for SB. All right, so look at this though. There's wainscoting in here. It's just, look, it's just beautiful decor. It's just really well done. Um, this is a, a an RV. No, I think this is a queen. I think no. it's a king. Yeah, it's an RV king. Um, it's not a placeholder type mattress though. This is a bamboo mattress. This is really, really soft, which is nice. Across from me, there's six drawers for dresser. There's a four and a two, which is great. Nice big TV above it, which is... Uh, very well thought of, okay? And as you can see, uh, there's plenty of room up here, guys, right? Because the, the bed is on a slide, and so since it's running east to west, it gives you lots of space in here. Um, there is one tin outlet to the left of the bed, to the right of the bed. There's USB ports right here, as well as on the other side, so you can plug your phone in and leave it right there on the edge, which is great for the night, okay? Over here, this is where you would put a washer and dryer. All right, I assume this can come out if you're doing a full stackable. Um, if not, if you're just doing a combo, that would give you some extra storage space. But if you're gonna do a full full size, this would come out and you put a, 
a stackable in there, which is great. And then over here is the actual closet. And these are very, very tight, which is awesome. So they're not sliding around on you. I, actually, very huge closet, it's hard to see. Let me take you back in there a little bit, right? There's some cubbies right there that you can see. There's storage down on the floor if you wanna put your shoes and things down there. Um, hanging uh, little nooks, if you will, right? So they're not sliding up and down. And again, you've got some storage up. Actually, man, I just turned on the light would be better, Robert. You know, it helps a little bit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let us know what you think of this coach, all right? Now look, we glazed over it. There's so many fine things about this. I mean, there are touch panels everywhere that control things, right? Like this right here. This is where I, I put that TV up and down. It's all touch panels. There's a digital display. Uh, there's also manual controls. Uh, the flooring, uh, it's just the backsplash behind the stove. Look, there's so many things that we didn't touch on, but we just try to give you a brief overview and get you a good look and feel of what's going on in here. And if you want to see more, come down here and check it out on Mesa. Make sure you tell Kevin that the tall man sent you. We leave his name and number in the description. For, for those of you who have never seen us before, thank you for stopping and watching our video. We really do appreciate it. For all the tall man clan that come back over and over again, God bless you guys. We really do appreciate you. Much love. Until we see you all again, be safe.